Chabata, Desiree Thomas, and Tom Mueller. Order, order, or we clear the room. Next speaker, please. After Steve D., the next three speakers are Patty Chabata, Desiree Thomas, and Tom Mueller. So is it break time? Where is everybody? This is, this is rude. Uh, we, we elected you guys. We pay you money and can't even show up to the meetings. Yeah, according to the presentation, they've had years to improve their capacity. But they didn't. And they didn't include stats from other hospitals or urgent care. We're just going to cherry pick the little chalk stats for you. And their little slide shows RSV and flu cases were down during the pandemic. And, you know, that's because they were using the PCR test to misdiagnose everybody as COVID. But certainly the COVID people needed care, too. So how is it like, you know, if you're going to show us a graph, include the relevant information. OK, why don't they have enough syringes or medicines? You know, I've owned clinics. You just order the stuff. How much do we hear about all oh, the supply chain crisis? Order some more stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Pardon my French. And stop mandating the COVID shots and masks. We don't have enough staff. Well, so you got all these self-made problems, and they're going to come along with the solution of, oh, we need another emergency. Okay? Uh, Supervisor Chafee said at the beginning of this thing, well, we can't use these extra doors. You know, they're only for, you know, use in emergency. But according to you guys, it's an emergency all the time. So are we supposed to think that we can use these doors until all the health emergencies are, are undeclared? I mean, I mean, let's figure it out. And Supervisor Wagner, I really used to like you, but the last meeting I was at, you're like, well, we didn't impose any mandates, but I guess we forgot that Nicole Quick, you know, stuck one in Friday night of Memorial Day weekend of uh, 2020. Well, we got to have a mask mandate on Friday night with no, no, you know, no discussion whatsoever. And then, you know, Irvine's been shoving that up everyone's rear for months and months after that, you know, and then you would have been imposing it if Sheriff Barnes didn't come out and say, hey, we're not the mass police. Good luck with that. OK, so pardon us if we're not going to just sit here and let people lie to our face and maybe forgot. It's OK. You know, things happen. What uh, happened to her? And as soon as she was gone, what happened to the mask mandate? We're not the ones lying. Continue, sir. Yeah, we got rid of her, not you. yeah you had your chance to get rid of her. Uh, but I appreciate your reply. But to say that you never imposed mask mandates, you know, it's just not true. So I got to ask, why do we need to spend another $78 million of taxpayer money to create a huge campus for the Orange County health bureaucracy to be even more uh, incompetent than they already are? Why, why, why do we need to spend more money on that? You, you know, this emergency you're saying is, well, we need relief from these regulatory burdens that we put in in the first place. I, I, do you guys even look at this stuff that you're trying to promote to us? Because we're, we're looking for logic and, and, and we're not seeing it. So feel free to enlighten us. Would appreciate if you did your jobs a little better. Next two 